That's right. So um, one of the things I trace in the book, and, the, and which really caused an, a massive expansion of the US investment banking industry, was the simple corporatization. Early on, up until the early 1900s, most investment banks were partnerships. And once they started to corporatize, things like tacit skill and reputation were devalued because an executive or a senior executive within an investment bank could hide behind the corporate veil. And it was all about corporate profits, not partnership profits. A partner's reputation was what sustained the firm. And so the individual was held accountable. Now, they can hide behind that corporate veil, and it's the corporation, the separate legal person, the separate legal entity that is responsible for the decisions and suitable for the decisions made by the senior executives in these investment banks. So that evolved to then um, uh, the, the internal management constructing their reward systems and their reward systems obviously were driven by self-interest, and that's why you hear about the $50 million bonuses and so on. That would never have happened under a partnership in the old days because it was for the greater good of the partners and the several liability um, and joint and several liability that um, they had in mind in undertaking their business practices. That's very interesting, yeah, because I, I know the structure you're talking about. I mean, some hedge funds operate on structures to mm -hmm. some extent mm -hmm. um, where there is partnership uh, and liability.